My uh, number five commuting pet peeve in the city is uh, pedestrians. When it comes to pedestrians, uh, a lot of them do not obey the, uh, the crosswalk signals and that poses a problem with buses turning at the intersections. Uh, the, the, they get into our blind spots and it just causes that extra delay uh, when, when pedestrians aren't uh, obeying their crosswalk signals. My number four commuting pet peeve uh, while driving in the city is uh, inconsiderate drivers. Uh, drivers don't give school buses the space that we deserve and that we need. We're a very large vehicle, slow moving, and when vehicles you know, try to get around us and cut us off, that poses a risk to the passengers inside the vehicle and, and safety is our number one concern. My number three pet peeve for commuting in the city is pop-up construction. It's inevitable, it needs to happen, but unfortunately there's no warning when it comes to the pop-up construction and that causes significant delays when it comes to picking up and dropping off our students. We have a very tight time frame of when we can pick up and drop off our students and these pop-up construction sites cause horrible delays when it comes to actually getting on time to our uh, locations. My number two commuting pet peeve in the city is uh, lane blockers and parking violators. When vehicles block up the lanes that they're not supposed to be in, uh, it, it poses that extra amount of time that we have to get around vehicles and get to our destinations in time. With that also being said, vehicles that park in the school bus loading zones uh, poses a threat to us and the safety of the kids because that is a designated safe spot for school buses to pick up and offload children at schools. And when vehicles are blocked up and are parked up in that location, we cannot do our job safely. The number one commuting pet peeve that school buses face in the city are vehicles that run our stop sign. Our stop sign is a legality. When our stop sign and our red lights are out and flashing, vehicles must stop. You cannot pass a school bus. It is the most important part about following a school bus. It is a child's life at stake. When you see that stop sign out with the red lights flashing, you must stop and it causes that extra stress to the driver and to the children getting on and off the bus. It just it poses too much of a safety risk when the drivers aren't paying attention.